So that's it, the last solar eclipse to be seen on this continent in this century. And as I said, not until August 21st, 2017, will another eclipse be visible from North America. That's 38 years from now. May the shadow of the moon fall in a world at peace. Hey guys, this is going to be another casual video. I just have another topic that I wanted to talk about. And the last one seemed to get some pretty good response and one of my friends even said, oh, you should do a podcast. <laughs> Actually, I just turned 20, woo! And so that's uh, very interesting for me. I know that when I turned 18, it was like I was becoming an adult and I thought that was gonna scare me and be a hard birthday. It actually wasn't really that big of a deal. I've been telling everyone I feel like going from 19 to 20 is a bigger deal because of the fact that when you say you screwed up, if someone is 19, people can write that off as, ah, oh, they're a kid, they're young, it's all right. But then as soon as you know, you're like, I screwed up and you're 20 or you're a 20 something, you know, there's automatically a lot more responsibility and people are like, well, you should have known better or things like that. I feel like there's just more responsibility when it comes to living as an adult once you're in your 20s. And so I'm in my 20s, I'm in my second decade. I adore everyone and everything they did for me this birthday. My mother put up wonderful decorations when I was out of the house and that I got to see when I came back home. Friends I hadn't seen in a while came down. My cousin managed to fly in and see me and everyone just made it a really good birthday. But I couldn't stop thinking about the fact that no matter how good of a birthday it was, it didn't feel like it was my birthday. And it also, didn't feel like birthdays used to feel. And I think that's what that thing that everyone's talking about, about sort of losing your childlike wonder or things like that. And I know a lot of people say it's because you get more realistic, but I don't think that's my problem. I still have so much wonder at the world and things like that. I actually think the reason why, you know, birthdays get like less exciting, but the reason why you, you grow up is because you encounter negative things in your life. And so that kind of puts a damper on situations or it just kind of opens you up to how tough things can be and can get. And so then you grow up because you just have a larger worldview now and you can't ignore the bad things that go on because now they involve you. Uh, a lot of the time people try to protect the kids. So when you're a kid, even if something bad was happening on your birthday, you probably wouldn't really know. I honestly really don't have a point to this video. That's why I'm calling these like talkies because I just don't know. <sighs> what I want to say in them, I just kind of want to talk. So it's kind of like therapy, it's also kind of like discussion because I love um, hearing from you guys. I had some great comments on the Facebook link that I shared in my last video on closure. I'm 20, well, that's so weird, it's just really weird. I guess I just also don't want to be 20 because I imagined I would become 20 at a very different time in my life. There's just a lot of change in my life and a lot of things have just recently shifted. I mean, I'm sure there's positive ways that it has changed. I am so much closer to people now that I didn't used to hang out with that much that mean the world to me and support me unlike friendships I've actually ever really had. I was surprised. I thought I knew what I was doing and stuff like that. So I guess that's good. But I just figured like last year, that place I was last year when I turned 19, I figured it was going to be exactly like that when I turned 20, just a bit better because it'd be a year long and I'd be in my film production class um, and not rejected, things like that and I just didn't see it coming and I think I need to stop kidding myself with always thinking things are gonna go perfectly. Birthdays are kind of an arbitrary date. We, did, we could choose any day to celebrate when we were born. And so I think I need to learn that I can't expect an arbitrary date set as a celebration to somehow always go well and be happy because life just keeps happening and life's not gonna stop for a birthday party or a cake and some candles. It's okay I didn't feel like it's my birthday it's okay that I have more responsibility now because all of that is just people's own impressions and they can make impressions how they want and that doesn't have to affect me. 
and it's okay if my birthday was super fun but didn't feel how they used to. I'm growing up and I'm changing and that's okay. And it's also okay if I'm not in the place in my life that I want to be at on a special day, like a birthday. Oh yeah, also I have light up unicorn slippers now. Uh, a cacti named Philip in a skull, a very spoopy skull that I love. A cactus blossom candle from friend for a birthday. Thank you, friend. And my little boy back there. I'm gonna go grab him, he's cute. His nickname is Zac Efron, but his actual name is Giuseppe. Because <laughs> my friend wanted me to name something Giuseppe, and I was like, mm, it's not Halloween y enough. Giuseppe is better. So, everybody, welcome Giuseppe to the family. I hope all of you are having a very spoopy and a very spooktacular month of Halloween. This is my favorite time of year. And, yeah. Bye.